Uh, William Donald Schaefer Award is presented uh, in Schaefer's legacy. If those of you that uh, knew him, um, he was very much old school in the way he approached people, and but he had an unbelievable sense for the vulnerable and helping them out. Whenever uh, someone came up to him and uh, say asked him for a dollar, he would open his wallet up and give them five dollars, and his staff would say, "Gosh, you're the governor. You don't need to do that." And he'd say, "You know, there but for fortune." And um, you know, he was fabulous at building communities and, uh, you know, helping individuals with government problems. And it's kind of ironic that I'm giving out the Schaefer Awards because he didn't like me very much. <laughs> yeah, doubly ironic. But I'm delighted to be here to present this to my favorite mayor in the entire state of Maryland, Margo Bailey. personifies goodness and uh, she's done so much for this wonderful community. Uh, my favorite initiative was, uh, I'm, maybe I'm getting in trouble here, but saying to Walmart, you know, you can build somewhere, yeah, yeah, yeah. but not in Chestertown. <laughs> yeah. here, 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 here. And all of the green initiatives that Margo's uh, led the charge on. And, and There's so many things that she's done. Uh, the marina, I know, is a big uh, issue. and I try to follow in your footsteps on the, on the sustainability. We uh, did not print 30 million pages of tax returns this year because we're telling everybody to go on the e-file yeah. and do it that way. And uh, all the staff said, oh, no, you can't do that. Old people don't have computers. Well, guess what? Everybody, everybody's doing it. So, and it's good for the environment and it saves the state money. And you've spent decades doing that for the city. And, and I can't think of a better person than Margot Bailey, Madam Mayor. Uh, so this is awarded. Uh, actually, I have something else too. But I'm not, First I'm going to give this. Is it cash? So this is uh, from the people of the state of Maryland to the Honorable Margo Bailey in recognition of being awarded the 2013 William Donald Schaefer Helping People Award for Kent County in acknowledgement of your tireless service to the people and business community of Chestertown as a mayor, councilwoman, with my appreciation for your exceptional leadership as the driving force behind some of Chestertown's most significant projects, your dedication to improving the lives of your community and its residents is an example for all public servants. With my sincerest wishes for continued success, presented this 20th day of June, 2013. And I decided recently to get a medal uh, made uh, that I could give to special people who have done so much for the state. And so I'm going to present Mayor Bailey with a Comptroller's Medal, Treasury Department, Comptroller's Office, and it's got my name on the back. It is not plastic. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it, you can buy anything at the store with it. But. If you have or ha ever have a tax problem, just come down and put that down. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> so please, uh, we're going to hear a word from the mayor, and I just also want to thank each of you individually for your great volunteer work, your great support of uh, Margot, because all of the different initiatives are just so terrific and uh, such a wonderful community. Uh, I think Chestertown is just about my favorite place to be.
Sorry. I'd like to introduce my council to everybody. Oh, yes, please. Know. Mabel Mumford, and we just said you've been on the council for 34, 34 years. Jim Gatto, which is first ward. The ward without any problems. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Linda Kuyper, second ward, and Marty Stetson, uh, fourth ward with the dog park. Okay. He's got the dog park. So we, we just built the dog park so people can place to work when eat their pooches. The mayor deals with all the important issues. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, it's uh, thank you for being here and also uh, oh, Billy Shore, County here. Commissioner. Billy, thank Billy. you for the early hours at Stamps. <clears throat> next door earlier. I don't yes. know where everybody was, but uh, I mean, talk about Norman Rockwell. Uh, yeah. yeah. uh, did you have, did you have a family? I had a cherry coat. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> still a little got a little bit of a buzz from that. <laughs> Mr. Crossroller, because of you, it's 50 cents soda day at Stamps all day. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm serious. All soda is 50 cents. Stop and congratulate them. It made a beautiful presentation. They've been in business since 1886. Wow. That was when Louis Goldstein was first. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good thing he's gone. <laughs> but uh, how about a big round of applause for you? to this and I'm not comfortable with this but I thank you and everybody thank you it's many years for many years I've spoken to it uh, China sends a delegation of elected officials to the United States every year they take a course at the University of Maryland mm -hmm. and they're very interested on how a community works they know there's something missing but they don't know what it is they figured out finance and money <laughs> that's the funniest thing so when they came a couple of years ago I wanted to explain, I, I started off by holding my shoe up and I said, thank you, you made this. <laughs> but they couldn't figure out what the difference was in the United States. And when I realized they did not have a word for volunteer, they had no concept of volunteer. For them, as they made the shoe, they made the clothes, they made this, they made money. And I explained to them but technically what I was doing was a volunteer. But if we didn't have these people who accept to take make no money, we would not have this glorious place. They still couldn't get it. And I took them walk around town and introduced them to people. And I said, this person volunteers for this. This is volunteer fireman. This is a volunteer. They still didn't understand it. And many years before that, I had somebody from Romania come, a whole group of people from Romania. And I explained the word volunteer to them. And this one guy started talking in Romanian. And I said, what did he say? And he said, those filthy Russians, they could have never taken over the United States, not with volunteers. <laughs> so, you know, you, you, to be successful, you have to have passion. And, I am fortunate in this town to have so many people who have passion. And you ask them to help and they say yes. And they say yes. And they say yes. Over and over again. They never stop. And they never stop giving. I can look at Joyce here who's been a volunteer forever. And we have Billy Arrowwood. And we have Nancy Butler. We have Lucia. We have everybody here. John Hanley. Uh, Leslie. Colin. Suzanne. Pete. Everybody is volunteers because they love this place so much and they want it to be the very best ever. So I thank you and I thank you. Um, we got to keep going. We're getting a little older <laughs> and we've been doing this for a long time. So our goal now is to try to get young people to move up the ladder and to continue the work. all for coming and thank you for the honor uh, that you show me. This is beyond belief. This is, I never expected this. What you I, deserve. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you deserve it. Thank you. Yeah. Here, here. Billy, uh, here. 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 On behalf of the county, we, thank you. we want to wish you well and also congratulations with whatever you choose to do with the balance of what God's given you. Thank you. So, from the county, thank you.
Well, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to, I may not be a political role, an active role, but I mean, I'll be active. You'll be a volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> for no money again. <laughs> so, thank you for coming. We have some refreshments. I'm going to ask if the council member Anybody Gatto want to say anything? or someone would like to say a I'm going to make speeches today. <laughs> I've known Margo for a long time, and I'm very seldom speeches. But uh, she has been a true leader in in the environment, the leader in the town. Uh, uh, she has stuck her neck out a number of times. Uh, the one thing you can say about Margo is she is firmly in love with this town. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. For that, we're grateful. Right, well, I, I just, could, excuse please. me. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, I'm not we forever clash. Uh, I started out on the council with Margo's husband, Mike Bailey, who also worked with him at Washington College. He introduced me to Maryland Municipal League, which I've been active ever since, and that's a long, really a long time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Mayor, Mayor Bailey carried on. Yes. And she really carried on. Really? She did all this, <laughs> <laughs> she did all this volunteering in the town, beyond all the business that we do take care of in the council meetings. And I'd like to say a word about Peter, because uh, he wouldn't expect it, but he spoke in Annapolis at the Lowe's when I was at a conference, and I was very happy to learn much more about him, and I would <coughs> encourage all of you to learn the background of this man. He's, uh, he impressed me. It took a while, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it honestly took a while. You have to really get down under and learn a lot of things about a person to be able to uh, support him. And the best of luck to you in the future. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And I, I agree with Mabel on that because you gave us a little history lesson this morning at, uh, yeah. at Stamps. Yeah. That was, that was way back. Yes, I, that was I didn't way back. Have back. Have yeah. That's Marty's turn. Congratulations. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Anybody that watches the council or sits in the council and you know this is Marty and I sometimes have different philosophy of what government and how it should function. But I never, never doubt it. That her point of view comes strictly from her heart and what she wants to do for the town. It's just that I think it's all the wrong side. <laughs> but you know, the great thing is, is that when we walk out of that council room, there is never any hard feelings. We go out and we laugh and we talk together, and that's the way it's supposed to be. You may have a difference of opinion, and it's vital that you should do so. One person I, I don't want to forget because. This is the person who really makes this town go, and that's our town manager, Bill. Yeah. 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 Mayor, I'd like to say one thing. I've worked with you for many years, and uh, for me, a real leader is someone who evaluates their personnel and says that person needs help, that person doesn't need help. And a lot of times, I really don't need help. To, to do the things that they've already authorized me to do. And that's leadership, and you've been a real leader. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Yeah. Uh, the mayor obviously, truly, sincerely cherishes Chesterton. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad that I was able to stop by. What a great turnout. Yeah.